Hey, this is Anthony from Revsoles. Here you can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Fly 2 glove available at Revzol.com. New for Spring 16, this is the Fly 2, the closest thing I've seen to them redoing my favorite old monster from eight years ago. We've talked about the monster a lot in this new collection because they're stealing themes in old DNA that work so well. Now, I will tell you, I don't have the original Fly on the table. It's because I didn't like it. I really like the Fly 2 though. They've upgraded the comfort, they've upgraded the protection, they've upgraded the perforation scheme while keeping the price under 100 bucks. I'm a fan, you've heard me say this a few times if you're watching all the videos of the new 16 glove line from Revit. They woke up and they did a lot really well this year. So, this glove gets a better perf scheme. It's now goat skin on the palm, cowhide on the top, but it's perforated all the way throughout. The original version did not have this perf scheme. It was just dimpled. So again, two to three season riding. I'm thinking warm to hot weather, spring, summer, fall. And again, if you look at it, basic, black, murderous, you can ride it in a lot of different styles, whether you're commuting, whether you're touring, whether you're sport biking or cafeing. Honestly, basic black works with everything. We know that. That's why it sells so well. But if we look at it again, you're getting that great temp scheme complement by getting full perf Finally. The other thing I'm gonna call out really quickly too is remember there's a ladies version. The other things they've changed are the comfort factor, right? So outside of temperature comfort, now we have flexibility comfort. They changed the engineering on the elasticated stretch panel on the back of the hand. It used to come from the thumb awkwardly, now it comes from the outside. I like it. If we flip it over, the fingers are redone. So it's now that new hourglass shape from Revit in your finger design so it does not bunch. They've also redone TPUs in the fingers. You still get these hard protectors that are going to be baked in. But what you don't have is an overabundance of TPR or TPU that they had in the previous version. I did not like the first version of this glove because I thought the fingers were tight, they were uncomfortable, they took too long to break in and it made the sizing feel a little bit small for me. So comfort wise, nice step forward both in how it bunches, how it works together, how the fingers work, and then the comfort scheme on the back of the hand outside of the perf. So that again, without changing the price and coming in sub 100 bucks, there's a lot of bang for the buck here. Let's talk fitment briefly. I'm wearing a size large. For years now, Revit's been really consistent in the US market, which is what I call an American cut. I'm an XL in Dionese, an XL in Alpine Stars, large in Revit, large in First Gear, large in Icon. Again, use this chai chart, no surprises, plenty of room in the fingers, I'm long and narrow, and I'm good to go here. Now, we've talked about the fit scheme on top and the comfort scheme and those fingers, but look, it's a slight pre-curve, and again, if you didn't, if you missed it the first time, it's that hourglass. We're seeing it across our gloves. They figured out by doing this slight taper here allows better ergonomics. So again, fan of what they did. The other thing, too, fit-wise, it is a little bit lighter weight leather, so it's perfed leather, cowhide, goatskin, but it's a hair lighter. You know, so maybe they've lost a couple millimeters on this glove versus the original version, which was a little bit stiffer. So keep that in mind. Use the side chart, remember we'll ship for free over 39 bucks, and I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback, let me know if you like the new fly to as much as I do. Now, diving back in, another key change, tech finger, index finger, thumb, going to work with multi-touch devices like Androids or iPhones, and what I've done, all what they've done, all the new Revit gloves now, it used to be silver in the previous version to stand out, now they're just baking it in, they're telling you it's there, I'm telling you it's there, but again, it's not creating this weird color on the tips of each finger, which looks a little bit odd. Starting back of the hand, still have some ulnar protection with this light slider here on the back of the hand. We talked about this area that allows the knuckles to work with you. Hard shell knuckle, remember, in this family, you have the vintage mantra, which is a step up. You have the bomber, which is really like this ver a version of this glove on steroids, which gives you a hard part slider in the heel of the hand. That's a little bit more of an investment, getting closer to that $100 mark. But you do have this striker, which if you like this profile and the seasonality, check out the striker, which is a little bit more adventure touring focus. Again, a little bit more Boba Fett, where this guy's a little bit more Valentino Rossi. Now, moving past the fingers, again, mid-digit protection, here, you can see it, we've talked about it, and you do have a little bit of extra elastication. Now, as I rotate sit past the thumb, nice and basic. Getting back to the heel hand, things I haven't talked about, micro Velcro, basic cuff closure on the wrist, and then again, Notice the reinforced panel here, goat skin across your control area down, and they've actually beefed up the size of this palm area here. So this is a landing zone protector. It's not going to be a base foam. It's not gonna be flimsy. It actually has a little bit of girth to it, a little bit of beef. It's gonna have a, a good density. It's not like a honeycomb slider. That's what you have to go into the bomber to get. But what it is, is a nice shock absorber, both by dam vibration dampening when you're riding, as well as a first line of defense if you get it and have, a, have an off and put your hands down. My opinion, 
Under $100, it's hard to ask somebody to go all the way up the out seam. You know my opinion of capturing that out seam, but I do like that they captured most of the seam on the outside of this glove. So remember, in the family tree from Revit, kind of peer level with something like the Striker, the Mantra, the Bomber, you go up in the food chain from here, they become a little bit more technical. But in any riding scenario, if you're looking warm to hot weather riding, it's gonna breathe better, it's gonna fit better. The new Fly 2 is a rock solid option from Revit. I don't really have many gripes with it outside of that out seam. I like the direction they went. Maybe the next version they find their way back to that heavier duty leather without compromising the comfort and fit factor of it. The next step in your journey though, click the info button on your mobile device, on your desktop, visit our product detail page at revzilla.com. Read other rider reviews of the new Fly 2. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us on the YouTubes. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.